Hey friends, uh, welcome back to my brand new channel and to my second YouTube video. I'm really excited to talk about everything that I'm going to talk about today and give you more updates on how I'm doing. So as some of you know, maybe some of you don't, I made a YouTube channel one week ago talking about a big life change I was going through and that was that I was going to be having bariatric surgery. Um, I had the surgery on Monday, December 6th in Amarillo, Texas, and it is day seven of my post-op journey, and I have so much to share with y'all. <laughs> so I had bariatric surgery in Amarillo, Texas, and the surgery that I had is called the duodenal switch with the loop, or the Sadie, or just the switch. There's a lot of different names for it. And basically, just to give a quick um, explanation on what that is, so I don't need to go too far into that, I did mention what it is in my first YouTube video if you wanna go check that out. Um, I had the switch surgery, which is a hybrid basically between the gastric sleeve and the uh, gastric bypass. I have a sleeved stomach so it's only about a quarter of the size it used to be, and they bypassed about 40% of my intestines. For the past week, I have been in recovery. And I have to just admit that it is far from feeling like a recovery, although I am recovering. I am just going to give a timeline of everything I've done and how everything has been going. So as I mentioned, Aaron and I went to a wedding in Weatherford, Texas this weekend, which was such a great start <laughs> to my journey. And it was absolutely beautiful. The weather was beautiful. The wedding was beautiful. Aaron and I had so much fun and we got to see two of our favorite people get married and there's nothing better than that. On Sunday morning, concluding the weekend festivities, Aaron and I drove back to Amarillo, Texas. I met my mom down there um, and she drove over seven hours on Sunday to be there. Uh, we stayed in a hotel um, just on the same block as the hospital I was having my surgery and we hung out that night and it was great. I will say about this time is when the anxiety started creeping in. I was trying to distract myself on my phone and um, just have conversations with my mom, but I was nervous, definitely. I think the fear was and the anxiety came from the unexpected. I didn't know how I was gonna feel. You know, I knew there was gonna be gas pains. Was there gonna be complications during the surgery? I didn't know what was gonna happen, so I was a little bit anxious for that. I had to check in at the hospital, Northwest Texas Health, at 7.30 a.m., and my surgery was at 9.30 a.m. It was very quick. I was in the waiting room for 20 to 30 minutes and <laughs> excuse me guys, sorry. Um... <laughs> it was a really quick process. Um, I was back getting prepped for surgery within 20 minutes of arriving. I got into my hospital gown, uh, put all my stuff in the bag. The nurse prepped me, did all my vitals, um, started the IV, which tried this arm first. If you can't tell, um, if you can't tell, I'm bruised. So that one didn't work out. She got me in my left arm and I had a needle in me and I was getting ready to get prepped for going back to the operation room. Um, I was very, very excited because my surgeon, Dr. Blue, which by the way, last video, I said his last name wrong, even though I thought I corrected myself. It is Dr. Blue Sneederjohn. And he came to see me before I went back to the operation room. And he had all the scrubs on and his little cap that they wear. And he prayed over my mom and I. It was beautiful. I was so excited that my mom got to meet Dr. Blue before I went in and um, I was at peace. Jesus had his arms on my shoulders and he was with me that entire, entire surgery. And the next minute I knew I was being wheeled back into my recovery room. <laughs> I've had a few surgeries before and 
that put me under anesthesia, you know, and um, this waking up was a little different and I'm not really sure why, but I was groggy, like very foggy. And I mean, all anesthesia, you wake up like that. All the other times I've been under anesthesia, I would wake up emotional, crying, warm, um, and you know, awake, I guess. I definitely felt weird because I even felt like when they were talking to me, you know, trying to get me to say stuff and to like open my eyes, I was just so slurry. Like <laughs> I was trying to say something, but I knew I wasn't comprehending it. I was just so, I just was obviously tired <laughs> or, you know, coming off of that um, powerful medicine. I, um, hardly even remembered, you know, what was happening, like the surgery, like everything that was new. And I was back in my recovery room. The nurses were all, you know, just getting me comfortable back to life. And, uh, I didn't feel anything, not, not any, nothing in here. Um, I definitely knew though that, um, things had changed. So when I did, you know, finally start feeling like myself, a little more conscious, I could talk quietly, kind of groggily. My mom went, came back and saw me and I just felt joy to see her. And I think she probably felt joy to see me too. The biggest thing I was worried about um, with my surgery is the gas. Um, when they do an abdominal surgery, like, um, like I had done that was, you know, pretty intense and traumatic um, for your insides. They puff you up with CO2 gas and they do, you know, deflate you <laughs> um, before you come out of anesthesia. But that's definitely the, the pressure and the uncomfortableness in your chest. My doctor explained that it's kind of like an elephant is sitting on you. And I was like, that, I was nervous for that, but I got it. You know, I was very heavy. I felt extremely, you know, exhausted. Um, and I could definitely, you know, feel that pain, but it wasn't too bad. It was definitely manageable. Um, again, I was had medication in me, but as soon as, you know, I was back to myself, my mom was in the room and, and everything, the nurse grabbed my, the nurse said, all right, time to walk. So I was walking within 20 minutes of, you know, being, um, conscious again and excuse me for the better, because from experience now this week, the more you walk, the better you feel, the better your body feels. You can definitely feel that you're healing. And so I was really glad that I was up and at it and, you know, starting that healing right away. I have a cat that wants in one second. So another thing is they provide barf bags because it is common for um, bariatric surgery patients to be nauseous, especially waking up, like just from the anesthesia. But I was glad that I had it just because I was instructed right away to just start to sipping liquids and getting that stomach healing and working. And so I had a little one ounce, you know, plastic cup that I would just pour, you know, cold water in. Um, and I would just, just little sips, little sips. And immediately after like the second or third sip, it came right back up um, into the barf bag. So glad I had that. But that is the only time I've thrown up since surgery. And that is what I would like to talk about next. I was definitely a little bit nervous, you know, to go home, but I was out of the hospital by 2.30 p.m. that day, and I'm so glad I had my mom with me. Um, she was my caretaker for the week and we started our journey back to liberal kansas um, so i can officially start getting over the recovery phase the ride home wasn't too bad but at this point i was pretty uncomfortable from the gas buildup, the pressure 
and um, trying to just get as much fluids in as possible. Um, I really needed to stay hydrated because my surgeon warned me that the number one biggest complication in the first couple weeks of your surgery, if not extreme, is dehydration. And I did not want to do that to myself. So I was sipping and just getting comfortable for the ride home. Um, Amarillo is only, you know, two and a half hours back to uh, Liberal. And I think it took us about four hours. And that was for a couple reasons. Number one, because of the walking and the gas, I needed to get out at least, you know, every 30 minutes to an hour and just walk around my mom's pickup truck. Um, it relieved me. It um, was very comfortable on my, you know, my abdomen where my um, incisions were. Um, and uh, definitely was the best way for me to get the gas out of my system. Um, so that whole car ride home, we stopped off in. We did have to do a detour on a county road. Very bumpy, not the most comfortable, um, but we survived. The way you get the gas out of your system is to belch, to burp. The more you walk, the more you belch. And I'll tell you what, I haven't stopped belching since. And it's not from the gas anymore, but anytime I take a sip of liquid, which I take sips of liquid literally all day, um, it usually is followed up by a little bit of air. And so I will try and do my best to limit those this video. <laughs> Recovery has been great. Um, as soon as we got home, I, you know, got everything together that I needed. My goal for the first two weeks of surgery, which is a liquid only diet with a few exceptions. Uh, I can have Greek yogurt, sugar-free jello and popsicles and different creamy soups. Still nothing solid, but they definitely are satisfying. Uh-oh. Poppy is right here. She's gonna join the video here soon. Anyway, where was I at? I had started my recovery and it was honestly more of a quick vacation from work than a recovery period. Yes, I have limitations. I have a lot of medication to take to make sure I'm comfortable, um, but I was off of my pain medication um, two days. Like I didn't even take probably two or three doses of it because it wasn't necessary just for when I was really uncomfortable from the pressure, um, from the gas. But anyway, um, I, that gas went away day three and then I started my vitamins. Um, I will talk about my vitamins in another video, probably my next one. Like I said, it was like a mini vacation. Uh, I got to spend time with my mom. We went shopping a little bit. We went to Hobby Lobby. We, you know, um, had good food. I mean, she had good food and I smelled it and it was awesome. I felt no sort of, you know, limitations or like I felt like I was missing out on anything. I was completely satisfied with what I'm having. And yeah, my senses have changed a little bit. Uh, a good side effect of anesthesia, but also, you know, some things will be like, ooh, it makes me feel a little queasy. Um, so I like to avoid those, but really I had n not many problems at all and it was great. Um, so my mom and I, we did some crafts together. We, um, watched some, um, sports. Yeah. Go Huskers beating the Longhorns. And then, uh, we played a ton of games with Aaron and just had a great time. I'm gonna try not to cry, but I was very emotional when she left uh, yesterday. It was so good to have her and, you know, I in, instead of her taking care of me, which she did, she kept me accountable that I wasn't, oh, hello, Rosie. Wells wanted to come say hi, hi, baby. If you guys can see, um, he has a uh, sushi collar. Yeah, don't you, baby? He's my baby. I love him. <laughs> He's gonna stay here 
the rest of the video. Poppy slept with mom all week, so she got to uh, hang out with her mammy a little bit, and it was really fun. In fact, it was really nice that she wasn't trying to sleep with me because I had to sleep in the recliner, um, my couch recliner, because of risk of, you know, I can't sleep on my sides because of the gravity. I cannot sleep on my stomach, obviously. Um, but I also needed to be at a little bit of an elevation because of the risk of the acid reflux um, and uh, that pain building up. Just because there's acid, the acid in your stomach is kind of trying to readjust. It went through some hard times recently, um, but I slept on their recliner and Poppy never bothered me once. This big boy, however, tried to lay on my stomach multiple times because he just loves his mommy. <laughs> Didn't you? Oh, you guys are so, 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 so cute, don't you? Very big boy, aren't you? That's my dude. Anyway, I slept fantastic the whole time. Um, we just had a lot of fun. We stayed up late playing games, doing crafts. One of the crafts that we did is called, you know, Paint My Diamonds. I'm going to shout out to my coworker, KT, my shark-loving sister um, from KC. I love her so much. She's the best. She recommended Paint My Diamonds because I was nervous about being, like, bored. Um, and so glad I did because we had a, me and my mom had a blast doing it together. Uh, we found a ping pong table for cheap on Facebook Marketplace. So Aaron and I were like, heck yeah. And we bought uh, a ping pong table. Now, ask my mother, <laughs> getting that ping pong table back in her pickup truck, thank God she has a pickup truck because um, we weren't gonna be able to, that was the only reason we bought it is because she was in town and could help us haul it and so thankful for that. But it was a trip. I mean, the person that we picked it up from lived in like the same general area of town as me. So it wasn't like a huge, like a really long drive, but <laughs> it was, it was an adventure for sure. But after we got that set it up, we put it in my garage just because it wouldn't go down to the basement. We'll figure that out eventually. Just have to, you know, unassemble it and reassemble it, which is just a project. Anyway, we put it in the garage and we played it so many times. That is the time I had to be the most careful because I can't, you know, turn too fast or twist, like bending down to get the ping pong from the floor. Like that's just the only thing I had to be careful from. And like also that was where the most pain is like right now and why I'm still taking Tylenol here and there because um, I had you know, laparoscopic surgery. And so the incisions, I have six very small incisions um, and they're tender, you know, the abs are sore. And so bending down and like squishing those incisions um, weren't very comfortable. But ping pong is such an easy activity that, you know, we had so much fun doing it. So yeah, it was a great time. As you can see, like I have had hardly any complications. I feel extremely blessed, honestly. Like if I didn't have Jesus Christ next to me, the Holy Spirit in me during, before the whole process, during the surgery and during my recovery, and then all the prayers that I received from all my friends, family, and my church friends, and and um, I don't think that I would have had the easiest of transition that I did. And I cannot, um, be more grateful and thankful to uh, my savior for, for allowing me to get to this point, you know, to have this huge decision, um, have such favorable, favorable results so far. Now I wanna give another shout out to my surgery sister, Glenna. Um, she and I both have had the surgery in the last, you know, month, month and a half, and we're each other's, you know, support system because we're both fresh, you know, young. Um, we're about the same size, height and weight to start. And so we've been really close lately and like without, you know, having that support and um, all of the preparation and, you know, all, all of all of the, the love. I don't, I just don't think I could, I don't know if I'd be able to do this even, you know, in a few weeks from now, but 
I am. Um, I'm going to continue to put my my faith, my trust in God, and have faith that this was the best decision I could have ever made for myself. <laughs> to um, continue to lose my weight, but gain my health, and that's you know what I did this for. Some of you are really curious, probably, um, how the weight loss has gone so far. It's been one week. You know, I'm on the liquid diet. I am not consuming anywhere more than 350 to 500 calories a day. Actually, it's more between 250 and 350. I don't think I've hit 400 yet. Um, and those calories are coming from the protein and um, the soups that I've had, some of the creamy soups um, and maybe the sugar-free um, treats just a little bit, the popsicles and the jello. Um, but mostly I'm just getting, you know, no calorie liquids in my, in my body right now. Um, anyway, I am inflamed on the inside still. So that's kind of cool. But I also had three fourths of my stomach removed. I wouldn't say it was more than a pound, pound and a half, just given the size of what the stomach is and how they remove it. Um, but I could be wrong. But um, from my weigh-in at surgery to this morning, Sunday, um, December 12th, I've lost 16 pounds. Yeah, a lot of water weight, probably, um, but I am still inflamed. Um, so I plan to continue to update everyone how the weight loss is going. I am expecting stalls. When your body is readjusting and your metabolism is getting shocked, that is very common. So I am going to continue to be um, honest and open about how it's going and, and what my struggles are, but also what my successes are. 16 pounds in a week, that's a total of 31 since I started my um, pre-op diet about two months, or since I started my pre-op diet two weeks before the surgery. Anyway, y'all, Thank you so much for watching my video. I'm so excited to keep updating you on how I'm recovering, how my weight loss is going, how my health is improving, and anything else along the way. Bye, friends. Bye, friends.